feels a little bit weird to start Vlogmas mid-Vlogmas, but I've had a lot going on. Uh, <laughs> so, happy Vlogmas day 13, 14? I don't even know what day it is today. This is how crazy things have been. Welcome to Vlogmas. I'm just starting in the middle, doing the best with what I can, with what I've got right now at this point. Okay, so last time I did Vlogmas, I was crying, <laughs> I was getting divorced, I was uh, very upset. I quit in the middle of Vlogmas because I was like, I just can't handle it. I'm having to move out of my house and sell my home and do all of these crazy things. And um, I had just felt like life was impossible at that point to understand and impossible to predict and I just didn't know where I would be and <laughs> I'm kind of excited and shocked to be sitting here one year later and also spill the tea about my life and what's been going on and how I have transformed from one year to the next so I want to start by showing you a clip from last year because <laughs> I think the throwback is really funny and then tell you what has gone on this year and give you that kind of update because I think that you guys are all going to be really excited about what's happening and how my life has changed and how I'm going to help you. So insert sad clip here. I don't even know where to start. By the time you're seeing this, a lot of you probably already know what's going on and I didn't want to go all of Vlogmas without hiding it because I didn't feel like I could hide it. I didn't feel like I could feasibly sit in front of you guys making videos trying to fake being happy because I'm not happy right now. I'll get through it. I hope I'll get through it. I hope that I can make it. I hope that it just gets better. So one year later, uh, I'm in a completely different space than I was from what you just saw. Last year, I was uncertain. I was scared. I was, I wouldn't even say scared. I was terrified. I um, really didn't think that I could start dating or that I would find anyone. I really didn't think that I was going to be able to grow my business the way that I wanted to. And everything was just a pile of uncertainty. It was like, I don't know how I'm going to handle any of this. And I don't know if I can. And so uh, throughout the year, you've heard me talk about really focusing on my mental health this year. And I think that that was really important for me because I was working so hard and burning myself out and trying to be the best that I could in my relationship and trying to solve issues that like were just not going to be solvable by only me and I needed help. And so I started therapy at the end of last year and that was really mainly to relearn how to develop relationships, relearn about my attachment styles, be able to have just like an outlet and somebody to talk to and somebody who is like helpful and knowledgeable and could give me the tools that I needed to be able to move on. And so I moved into this gorgeous apartment. I moved into like, I mean, my dream apartment, I, I, didn't even think that I was going to be able to afford it or that I would get approved. I was, I mean, like, I was a mess. I was <laughs> extremely pessimistic and I was just like, I don't, I don't know how any of this stuff is going to work out and I just don't see it. And, um, so there was that. And then 
kind of like a forward and you know 180 from that like I have just thrived so much in this year in ways that I didn't know were possible I was able to really focus in on my blog and my business and take on more speaking engagements and I was able to write for like publications that I had never dreamed I would get into um over the you know holidays I got to be a part of the Washington Post cookie issue and that was such a highlight for me like getting to write a recipe for the Washington Post is like one thing but then also being able to share a really fond memory that I had with my mom um who you guys know passed away earlier this year you know it was just like a dream come true for me and I think that really solidified that I I can't doubt myself anymore and I can't like deny myself of opportunities because I don't think that I'm good enough. I am good enough and I'm more than good enough and I am smart and I'm capable and I know what I'm doing. And um, I think this was the first time in my life that I felt like that. I think in my relationship I had always shrunk myself down and made myself smaller because I didn't want to be... Um, I don't know. I didn't want to be like overpowering or embarrassing or this like, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, but I shrunk myself a lot and I sacrificed talking about how proud of my work and how proud of myself I was for somebody else's happiness and like realizing that I never have to do that anymore is kind of incredible and very freeing because it's allowed me to really be the person that I have always aimed to be and the person that I have always been. And I can un unapologetically be myself. And there is like no greater feeling than that when you're struggling with your identity and trying to figure out every day if you're good enough at what you do. So I think in my job and my work, that has all been like really wonderful. And then, you know, I talked about this like, gorgeous apartment that I love um and I'll be moving out of it next year because through my hard work and like pulling myself up and getting through everything that I needed to get through and really hard work I am able to buy a house and I not only can buy a house uh, that's like not in the suburbs, which I like I wanted to live in the city again. And so that was really important to me. But I'm buying a house in an area that is like my dream area. And it's at like the perfect price point for me. It's it gives me the ability to be able to live extremely close to the city. It's 10 minutes away from my favorite bar. It's, um, you know, like 20 minutes maybe away from my boyfriend, which we'll talk about that. Um, you know, it's a short Uber ride to like everything that I love and it's not in the center center of the city like this apartment is, but it is still really close. And um, the area of Houston that I'm planning on living in is a very historic area, uh, especially in the black community. So it's just, it's one of those things where I'm just like, I'm so proud of myself and so happy like I love this apartment and I think it's going to be like really sad when I move out because you know it's been a place that I have been so fond of and that I love so much but at the same time I'm like damn like I did that like a year ago I didn't even think I could afford rent and now I with like really hard work am able to afford my own home that I get to own that's mine um and that's like a dream come true. Like it's gonna have like the perfect kitchen. It's gonna have a breakfast bar so I can make more coffee videos. It's gonna ha like, it's gonna have everything, everything that I've ever wanted. And I just, I, I'm so proud of myself that like I could do that and I could do it alone because I didn't think that that was gonna happen. And then um, I met someone like, you know, a couple months after I got, uh, like a couple months after we started the process of divorce, like we decided we were going to get divorced. Um, and then we said that, you know, like fine. Like if we feel like it, it's we, each of us is okay with seeing other people. And, um, so for me, I was kind of like, 
you know, I'm going to be honest with anybody that I start seeing or dating or talking to that, like, I'm not completely through the divorce process and I don't know, like, where those relationships are going to go. And that's just kind of how it is. Um, and so I met this amazing man in December of last year around this time and we just clicked and bonded so well. We became like really fast friends, really good friends. And, um, we just have a lot in common. We have a lot of the same values. We share a lot of the same likes and things that we want out of life. We are really good companions. He makes me incredibly happy. Um, I hope that I do the same for him and I am just like so in love and so happy. It's, it's wild. And so, um, both of us are, were really of the opinion that we wanted to take things very slowly and just kind of like feel things out and not have the pressure or weight of like the big things that come with our relationships because he also is in a similar spot to me. Um, where he, you know, was going through a divorce, was like trying to get through it. And then, you know, there are like, I don't think people know this and I didn't really know this until it happened to me, but there is a lot of balancing of your old relationship and new dynamics that you have to do whenever you start dating someone and you're still kind of like entangled a little bit with the person that you were married to before. And so I think like sometimes there are a lot of hard feelings there, you know, the way that you talk to each other is even different. The way that you approach each other is even different with your like former spouse. And so, um, learning all of that is really hard alongside trying to build a relationship with someone else that is positive and that you want to last a long time. Um, so I want things to last a very long time with this person and I'm just so grateful to have met him when I did. Like our relationship is not without, it's like bumps along the way. But I think that that has really helped us just in terms of understanding like how we manage conflict together and being there for each other, but also the level of like honesty that we have in our relationship is refreshing. So I'm very happy on that front. I'm, you know, happy that I have this person and just so thrilled with that. We are not moving in together. So like I said, like my house is my house. Um, if we ever cross that road, we'll figure out what to do with it. Um, but otherwise, like I'm not thinking about that now. I'm thinking about just like how excited I am to kind of like forge on this new path, be a homeowner again, um, you know, and just like thrive in my own space without shared walls. <laughs> so I'll miss my beautiful view. I have this gorgeous view of Houston and I just like, I am going to miss that a lot, but I, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad for where I am. I'm glad for, um, where I'm going and for what I have and just how different this year is from last year. So I know that you guys like to hear updates and you like to hear the tea and you like to hear the big news and, all of that stuff. And so, you know, I like to be able to give that to you. So that's this Vlogmas update. And then hopefully for the rest of Vlogmas, I'll give you little vlogs <laughs> every day. Um, so you can see what I'm doing, but you know, I, I just always appreciate how supportive this community is when I have life updates and how amazing you are, um, in terms of celebrating them with me. So thank you for always being here and, you know, being my people. Um, one other change that I want to talk about related to work is that I decided to go back to school for, um, integrated nutrition. And so I eventually, when I'm done with my program, will be certified as an integrative nutrition health coach, which means that I can work with clients one-on-one -on -one with their goals and accountability and also, you know, generalized lifestyle advice, as well as being able to be a support system. So I think that that is really exciting and really cool. I have really thought about going down the path of health coaching for a long time because I, I 
I knew that I didn't want to rely on content for the rest of my life. Um, and I love making content and I'll continue to make content, but I also wanted to make room and make space to be able to support people directly. So I will leave a link in, um, my description box with my information about health coaching that I have now. I haven't opened anything up to anyone, but the first kind of like wave that I open up will be the lowest tier, lowest cost. Um, and also just, you know, gives you the ability to, have somebody who can understand what you're going through because I also live with diabetes. Most of you know I live with latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. It's a slow progressing form of type 1 diabetes. And I am really, really passionate about the self-care parts of diabetes, the stuff that you don't get when you go sit down and get a prescription written, the day-to-day -day kind of management that you have to do to take care of yourself and take care of diabetes. And so I'm really excited to get this additional education, um, which one I think will just help my recipes in general and help me do what I'm doing, but then also to be able to actually coach and actually be there as a resource for people directly, I think is like gonna be one of the most wonderful things that I do for my life. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. And um, that you get to be in on that earlier than anyone else because I haven't really shared it anywhere else. So that's it for this video. I wanna know how you feel like your life has changed from year to year, like what happened with you last December that you've seen turn around. It could be with your health, with relationships, with work, whatever. Um, I like hearing from you. I like knowing what my people, my community are up to and what you guys are facing. And I think that's so important for me to hear. And it helps other people realize that they're not alone and that there is hope and light at the end of the tunnel. Sometimes it just takes a year or more <laughs> to get there. <laughs> But that's it for this video. So happy Vlogmas. Thank you for tuning in. I'm so glad that I could share a new video with you and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.